Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the concrete mathematics textbook. Problem 29 from the second chapter. We wish to evaluate the following sum, sum from k equals 1 to n of k times minus 1 to the k power over 4k squared minus 1, where n is positive integer. My hints for this problem. Use the partial fraction decomposition on the fraction k over 4k squared minus 1. If you don't know about this method, uh, look it up on Wikipedia, for example. Or stick with me, I will demonstrate it and describe it in a bit. Then, after this uh, decomposition, split the sum into two different sums and shift the index of summation of one of the sums to make them almost the same, and use telescoping. We'll give this problem a try and I will see you in a minute. Okay, so it's a pretty easy problem, I'd say. First of all, let's see. This fraction, obviously in the denominator we have 2k minus 1, 2k plus 1. And now, when we have two different binomials in the denominator, Partial fraction decomposition says that it can also always be written in the following form. a over 2k minus 1 plus b over 2k plus 1, where a and b are some real numbers. They are constants. Well, how to find the exact value of these constants? There are many ways, but probably the simplest though not the quickest, is the following. Let's take this equality and let's get rid of the denominators. So I'll multiply both sides by the denominators and I have k equals a 2k plus 1 plus b 2k minus 1. And after expansion and ordering of the terms, we will get 2 times a plus b times k plus a minus b. And that should be true for every real number k, in fact, or every integer k. And that is true. Let's compare the coefficients, shall we? Here we have 1k plus 0, and here we have this many k's plus this constant. So, it should be the case that 2 times a plus b equals 1, and at the same time, a minus b should be equal to zero. And now it's pretty easy to see that both a and b must be equal to one quarter. Okay, so we now know that k over 4k squared minus 1 equals one fourth. 1 over 2k minus 1 plus 1 over 2k plus 1. And that will be useful. So let's go back to our sum. Recall that we wish to evaluate sum which goes from 1 up to n of uh, minus 1 to the power of k times k over 4k squared minus 1. And that, we already know, that it is the same as the sum which goes from k equals 1 to n, minus 1 to the kth power, 1 fourth, 1 over 2k minus 1, plus 1 over 2k plus 1, in fact. Very well. And now let's split it into two, two different sums. Namely, first sum will be over k from k equals 1 to n minus 1 to the k power over 2k minus 1 and the second will be from 1 to n but from but of minus 1 to the power of k over 2k plus 1. Okay, very well. And now, now comes the important part. Look at the denominators. They are 
almost the same, they are different by two. And that suggests that some kind of telescoping might be going on and it will become apparent after changing the shifting the index of summation of one of these sums. So let the, say, the first sum stay the same and of, on the second su sum I wish to have 2k minus 1 and that will be the case if I sum if I replace k by k minus 1. So now k minus 1 instead of k in every place and I will have k minus 1 goes from 1 up to n. Here I have minus 1 to the power k minus 1 and here I have 2k minus 1 plus 1. Let's simplify it further. So we have first sum is really the same, nothing special going on here, but the second sum has something special, namely it goes from 0 to n plus 1 and let's look, minus 1 to the power k minus 1 is the same as minus 1 to the power of k times minus 1. So I can change the sign right here and I will have minus 1 just to the power of k and here I have 2k minus 1. Okay, and these two sums are almost the same but for two details this sum goes from 1 to n and this goes from 1 to n plus 1. So I would suggest, you know what, let's move all of this a little bit on the left because I need some space and I will do the following. The first sum, the first sum, sorry there was mistake, uh, k goes from 2 because k minus 1 equals 1, that means that k equals 2. My bad. And now I will separate the first index, so I will write 1 fourth minus 1 to the first power over 2 times 1 minus 1 plus the rest, so sum go goes from 2 to n. And the second sum will stay the same, except that I want to put the last term separately. So I have sum going from 2 to n minus 1 to the power of k, 2k minus 1, and I wish to put the last term separately, so I will have minus 1 fourth minus 1 to the power n plus 1, why am I running out of space again? Oh no. Let's put it here. Very well. And I have minus 1 to the power n plus 1 over 2 times n plus 1 minus 1. And now the magic happens, also known as telescoping. <laughs> this sum and this sum, they are exactly the same. Gone. So we are left with minus 1 over 4 and the last part we can write it after some manipulations as plus minus 1 to the nth power over 4 to n plus 1 and that is our result in fact. So finally sum going from 1 to n minus 1 to the k power times k over 4k squared minus 1 equals minus 1 fourth plus minus 1 to the nth power 4 times 2n plus 1 and that should be it. Okay, maybe put this frame. Okay. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.